I thought I'd share why my last video was titled Video 43. I have felt God calling me to share my story for many years, and this year that call became more than a whisper. He knew I was struggling with fear and doubt, yet in the midst of my struggle, He held me closer. Similar to teaching our children to ride a bike or read, He started by asking me to just show up and be obedient to His voice. He already knew I would fall down or be overcome with self-doubt, so he asked me to start by simply posting shorts. He would show me the scripture, I would create the video, and due to my lifetime of perfectionism, he also knew that I would most likely never post, fearing that they weren't good enough. The beautiful thing is that our God is patient in teaching us to surrender fully and completely. The first video I made, I watched it one time through to be sure everything was in order, and I heard him say post. Now you'd think it wouldn't be that big of a deal to just click the button and move on to the next thing, but I struggled. So again, in a gentle voice, he simply said, post. I took a deep breath and posted the first short. Throughout the last month, he has shown me each verse and when to post it. I began to follow without hesitation, and it became more than simply adding short videos to the internet. I began to let each verse, each word, take root in my heart. The dialogue I experienced with my Heavenly Father was amazing. There was no judgment, only love and kindness. As my desire for perfection was fading, the scriptures were penetrating my heart, and the rhythm of posting became enjoyable. But I soon realized that I was still safely tucked into my comfort zone. After posting about 30 shorts, he told me to stop after I posted the 42nd video. I was a little confused at first, but then I thought I had him figured out. My job was done, and I was happy to have shared the verses he placed on my heart, and I would continue life as usual. I was wrong, or better yet, mistaken to say the least. He told me that the 43rd video was to be me. I started to worry, to doubt. I really didn't want to be in front of the camera. I'm perfectly fine working behind the scenes. And in that moment, he gave me a picture of what was happening. In a gentle voice, he said, Holly, this is your 43rd year of life. You are seeing me through a distorted lens filled with fear, doubt, judgment and worry you are my child created in my image and perfectly imperfect i am teaching you to slowly spread your wings and fly you only need to put one foot in front of the other i will lead you and guide you with grace and peace for now i am only asking that others hear the sound of your voice there will be future videos where you will sit down and share more of your story. But for now, we are rebuilding your confidence. And Holly, even though you may have felt like you lost yourself many times along the way, I was always there, never far, and always ready to hold you up. My beautiful daughter, I love you unconditionally. What a joy it is to be your father. <laughs>